In this quick Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to set up a 360 degree render. And what I mean by that is instead of doing a flat, um, like normal perspective render, this is a render where you can put it into like a Oculus system or VR goggles and you can have a look at a 360 degree image. So the way you can do that is simply just selecting your normal camera in Blender. Now, um, this is just one of my architectural scenes that I just recently uploaded to Blender. This is a tutorial you can actually watch, but you can use anything to um, test this out. So what you wanna do is usually, you know, like in this case, you can see with this scene here, I've just added in a camera here and this is where I'm rendering from, but you wanna think about where you're gonna be standing if you're viewing this um, free, from a 360 degree perspective. So in this case, I'm gonna place my camera right in the middle of my scene because that makes more sense to me. And then what you're gonna do once you have your camera selected, all you're gonna do is you're gonna now go to your camera settings and by default under the lens here, the type is set to perspective. That's what the perspective rendering is in Blender. But what you can do is you can go down here to this one called panoramic. And then what you can do is go to the panoramic, panoramic type and you can see here, you got a few options, but the one that it's set to by default is EQ Rectangular, and that one you can click on. Uh, there's a few other ones here, but that's the one that'll give you the 360 degree render. And then what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to your output, and by default, you're gonna have this resolution here, but it's important to keep this in mind. When you're doing a 360 degree panoramic render, you need to have a ratio of one to two. So for example, whatever the top value is, so if I make this like four, 2000 for example, so 2000 pixels, and then I click at the bottom one, the bottom one needs to be exactly 1000 pixels. So if I made the top, for example, 8000 pixels, I'd be making the one at the bottom 4000 pixels. Does that make sense? So once you have that all set up, you can just go render and then render image, and it should render it now with those settings. And here you can see I now have a 360 degree image that has been rendered. And if you do have a VR um, goggle set or something you can try this out with, it's a ton of fun having a look at your own scene. And yes, you can use this for video as well. It will work just as well. Uh, it just takes longer to render obviously. So if you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, give it a like and definitely check out some of my other content. And like I said in the beginning, this um, scene you see here, you can actually make that. That's in my previous tutorial that I uploaded before this one. And uh, then you can maybe even give this one a shot. So I'll see you guys next time.